My name is Sharon Mesmer. Sharon, in your own words, could you define a sustainer for us? Well, let's see. In my own words, it was something really difficult to write because I usually don't write in a form, but it is a poem of six stanzas and it contains end words and the end words are repeated in a different order in each stanza. And I can't remember the numerical order that they're repeated in. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's, I think, six, four, two, one, five, whatever. But I don't remember what the order is. So, <laughs> but it was um, fun to write, actually. What is the process of writing a sustina like for you? It actually came out a little bit different than I had intended. Um, someone... Uh, um, a friend of mine who's also in the anthology had said to me, you're really going to fuck this up, aren't you? And I said, yes, I am. And so I kind of switched my um, idea about what I was going to do. I was originally going to do the six end words were going to be um, a selection from the 50 most beautiful words in the English language. But then when he sent me this email, I thought, I am going to fuck it up. So I um, picked six completely different words, which were maximum nacho, crap sauce, classy smashing, Orville Redenbacher, gangsta fag, and Schittler. And so I thought, I'm, I just want to see if a sestina can wrap itself around this kind of a thing. So that, that was my idea about how I worked on it. It's actually a lot of fun when you get into it. Um, it. It develops a very interesting rhythm and it forces you to change the words a little bit. Um, like I used phrases and I was able to adapt some of those phrases to different phrasings and I was, uh, it was fun to like change the words a little bit, like just change a letter or put a vowel at the end or something and um, it yielded a lot of spectacular results when I look at the anthology. When I look at the anthology and I see all the different ways that poets approached it, um, it's so amazing and it really opens your mind to the possibilities of the form and different ways of using language and um, it was really exhilarating actually to write it and then to read the results.